Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create bins using Python. Uh, specifically I'm using Anaconda, then JupyterLab, and I'm running Python 3.9.12. But this probably also works with other versions of Python. Um, I'm not going to show how you can determine how many bins you should use, for that I'll have a separate video. Um, the ex I need some example data, so I'll load pandas. If you've never used that before, you can use pip install pandas. And then um, uh, to load it in, you use import pandas as pd, just to have an abbreviation there. I can then load my data, which is the general social survey data from 2012, slightly adjusted for purposes of these explanations. And here is a quick look at that data. Uh, I only need one field, a scale field, and a numeric field, and uh, I'm going to be using the H for that. I'll be removing the missing value, so drop NA will be used. There is one category that was uh, as 89 or older, so I'm going to replace that with 90 with using replace, and I'm going to change all values to numeric so that everything is really in number. So that's being done in this little code block here. So now my scale field is nicely one um, numeric field. Now to decide on or to actually uh, get bins, we need we have a look at the range of values. So the maximum minus the minimum, that's the range, and then divide it over the number of categories that you want. And that will give you the width that you probably need for uh, each bin. So uh, I can quickly calculate that using max and min. Uh, R for range and then my width uh, should be produced there so um, let's also print it out so my width should be about 10.29 now we can determine the upper and lower bounds of each bin or bucket if you will uh, the lower bound is simply the upper bound of the previous category uh, and the upper bound itself will then be the lower bound plus that width now for the first category, the lower bound can be set to the minimum and that should give us all the upper bounds and lower bounds. So that's what's being done here. I'm simply doing a while loop. Uh, so it does it for all my K bins that I wanted, in this case seven. And it's gonna print out the lower bound and upper bound for each. So this is what that would look like. Now we could either see it as the lower bound being included uh, or the upper bound being included. So that, for example, that first category of 18 to 28.29, um, should that include 18 um, and therefore exclude 28, or should it um, include the 28, the upper bound, and exclude the lower bound, the 18. Um, we could then, uh, we would then have to adjust one or, or the other because uh, the maximum value, in this case 90, wouldn't then be included in any of the bins. So we could, for example, just add a little bit to the maximum or minimum depending on if we want to include the lower bound or the upper bound. So that's why I made my own little function here. Um, what this does is exactly as above, but um, it it will ask if you want to include the lower end or the upper end um, and to which extent it should then adjust the maximum or minimum. So here it's doing that increase the maximum if include is the lower bound because then it's excluding the upper bound so we need to increase the maximum a little bit so it will be included uh, and otherwise decrease the minimum uh, with that same adjustment. And then it's simply doing exactly as before and it's now just storing everything in one uh, array or one list if you will and it should give me then the bins the way i want them we could then use these to determine which category or bin each uh, score actually belongs to so here i'm just going over all my uh, data points so for each data point um, i will have a look if it fits in the uh, if it's greater than or equal to the lower bound of a particular category. Uh, if so, um, it will check the next one and it will add um, the corresponding bin uh, label. 
so that we actually get a whole list of bin labels that can actually uh, so for each data point if I would show this now uh, it should have a whole list long list of all the different categories each point belong to so there were quite a lot of points and uh, let me quickly go further down and uh, then we can use counter which is a default library that comes with python so if i uh, uh in the collection sorry it's a function that's in the collections which is a default uh, python's library uh, and then we can use for example the counter function and that will show us the frequencies on how often each category um, is actually um, in the data so i have 303 cases that are between 18 and 28 now this is actually a dictionary so you can use keys and values to just subtra uh, to get those frequencies if you want to so here are the frequencies and the corresponding labels are then in the val uh, in the keys and that is to some extent how you can do all this there are of course some functions as well pandas has a library um in the pandas library you actually have a cut function which uh, simply asks you for a numeric field and then uh, which bins you how many bins you want to use so that should uh, look like this now you notice it's using parentheses and brackets brackets means that it's included and parentheses mean it's excluded if you want you can change this by setting right to false and then you'll notice that if i do that and uh, now the left hand side is included and the right hand side is excluded numpy another famous library um, if you've never used that before you should use uh, pip install um, numpy oh, numpy but i have already installed it so i don't need to do that i only need to import it and they actually also have a function called histogram bin edges because mm, very often these bins are used to uh, draw a histogram with now it works exactly the same uh, you can simply set the number of bins you want and it will make the cut points and you'll notice that this is one more than we actually uh, wanted there are eight of these uh, because we have basically eight uh, cut points the the um, the lower bound of the first category and the upper bound of the last category is also included so that's why you get one more than the number of bins you actually ask for all right and that is kind of it that's how you can make um bins using python now deciding on the number of bins is a whole different area but um, i'll leave that for a separate video and hope this was already helpful and thank you for watching